All right, so we managed to get the sales analysis report out there with the, the item, the budget, the actual and difference. Um, but we got it for the whole year. So for the whole year, it's not really useful. Uh, you would, you'd like to dissect it up a little bit. And we spent a lot of time actually putting in per month budget data. And if we're looking at the entire year, then it's just sort of, uh, you know, zoomed out too much. So what we need to do this time around is actually change the columns to include the months. So for example, we have current month uh, budget. Uh, budget and uh, current month actual and then current month difference and then the next month so we'll just do plus one month uh, which is going to be the budget and plus one actual etc so we want to be able to see into a few months going forward. Now it would be nice to be able to see the actual periods out sort of in a matrix format, but in the sales reports or sales analysis reports, you have to manually set up the columns. So if you want to look months out, you have to manually set up how many months you're going to go and fix each one of the columns. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast. Um, so let's do that. And then of course we have the item here and we're still looking at quantities, you know, for these cells. So, um, let's get that on. Okay. So when we, where we left off actually was, um, here in sales budgets, um, we created the coffee mug sales budget. And if I go to that one, um, we actually put in, amounts for three items right here. Uh, the coffee mug, medium drip coffee and paper coffee cup. And uh, we did it for the Northeast region. And um, we did do some of the customer grouping. Uh, and it's actually by month. Now if I go into the, uh, the sales analysis reports right here, um, and go into the coffee mug sales analysis, and uh, added that uh, and I do show matrix on this this is actually just the whole year and you can see here it's view by year it's picking the current year that we're in uh, and I see the whole year if I change this into a month and I show matrix I'm actually not going to get anything um, because it's it's picking 2019 which is my work date and um, and there's nothing on that because we're in 2020. Actually, what I might want to do is just go into my settings here and put the work date on today uh, and do show matrix. Well, even then, I think we have nothing. So what we want to do now is, is actually uh, show by month and in, in this matrix so that that I actually get the monthly data because the whole yearly data is, is, is too, it's too zoomed out. So we can actually right here, go into navigate actions, uh, set up lines and columns. And I want to change the columns right here, uh, <clears throat> to reflect the month. So we have here the net change and the budget, and this is for a particular period. Um, and we have a formula. So, and a comparison date formula and comparison period formula. So I'm going to use the, uh, the date formulas right here. So this, let's say this is the current period we're in, and I'm going to set the period to month. Uh, and I want to take away the difference for right now. Actually, I'll leave it. Let's leave it. So let's just do like three months. So this would be um, current month, uh, net change, and let's be current month budget uh, and current month difference, like that. 
So I have to change the formula right here. Actually, I like to, whenever I use formulas, uh, I like to make sure that the column number doesn't have any spaces because then when you do the formula right here, the system will not whack out. Sometimes it doesn't like spaces. Um, maybe that's because I've just been doing it for very long. Uh, and so if you have the next month, so uh, we can then just do a month ahead which is one month out, net change. So net change uh, next month. So we'll just do plus one month. And I can put in a comparison formula right here and just say one month. And that's one month out. Um, I can do minus one month that goes one month backwards. So if we do that, one month uh, budget, oh dear, budget. So that would be budget plus one month. And that is net change, item budget entries. And I'll just copy this, oops, for here. Item budget entries one month and then one month difference uh, I'm sure you can make it prettier than I was doing it but uh, I think I'm driving a point home here that I can do multiple periods like this oops one month Okay, so this is all quantity right here and right here. Um, actually, the formula doesn't need to have a comparison formula, just like that. So now we have uh, two months, basically. We have the current month, which is right here, and then one month out. Let's see how that looks. So if I close out and we have mute by month, uh, let me just see if I can change it. I think I might need to close it out before it takes effect. Uh, go back into edit. And we have it by month. Let's do show matrix. And so now you can see that the budget for uh, the month that we're in, February, was 550. We haven't sold any. So the difference is 550. And the budget next month is 600. And we haven't sold any, so the difference is wrong. It should be uh, 600. So let's troubleshoot that quickly. And sometimes you're gonna make mistakes. That happens to everyone. Uh, so we have one month net change, one month budget minus one month net change. And that is supposed to be a formula right here and then it has been troubleshot and we have this in now it would be nice to post some data in here to get the net change and I might do that off video so you guys don't have to watch me type in sales orders because that's another video.